I think everyone watching this video has used a gradient before, except for like that one person in the comments that's gonna be like, no, I haven't used a gradient before. You know what, you disappoint me. <laughs> so in this video, Jordan Bertone's gonna show you how to implement a few effects to your gradients to make them look awesome and take them to the next level. So you can show this off to your client and be like, hey, I'm better than the person that does the basic gradients. You know, I do something a little bit more advanced. So this is gonna be a fun video done by Jordan. Be sure to smash that like button because it helps out our channel a lot for the YouTube algorithm. Just go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. So I'm gonna hand it over to the man, Jordan Bertone. Hey everyone, this is Jordan. And today I'm gonna be showing you a few techniques to make some really amazing gradient backgrounds in After Effects. For this first technique, we're gonna be taking a group of shape layers and warping them to the point where it forms this awesome liquid gradient background. First, we're going to start by filling up our composition with shape layers, so go up to the shape tool and select the star shape. Make sure fill is set to solid color, the color is set to white, and the stroke is set to none. Now hold down the shift key and click and drag to create a few stars. Make sure that when you're making the stars that none of them get cut off by the edge of the composition. Next, change the fill color to black and create some more stars around the composition. The reason why we want them to be black and white is so that we can change their color later after we've pre-composed them. Once we have our shape layers, we're going to go up to Layer, New, Null Object, and Layer, New Adjustment Layer so that we can start animating the shapes. Make sure that the adjustment layer is highlighted, then go up to Effect, Stylize, CC Repetile, and in the Effect Controls panel, increase the value for Expand Right to about 4000. Next, highlight all of your shape layers, then use the Pick Whip tool to parent them to the Null Object that we created earlier. Now, highlight the null object, press P to adjust the position, set a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline, move to the very end of the timeline, and decrease the X value by a few thousand. Now that our shapes are animated, highlight everything we've made so far, then right click, select Precompose, we'll name the precomp to Shapes, make sure Move All Attributes to New Composition is highlighted, then click OK. Next, we're going to create a background layer by going to Layer, new, solid, I'm going to set the color to a really dark purple, then click OK. Make sure that the background layer is at the bottom of the layer list, then highlight our shapes precomp and go to effect, color correction, tint, effect, blur and sharpen, directional blur, and effect, distort, twirl. In the effect controls panel, we're going to set the colors for the tint to a bright pink and a light blue color. For the directional blur, set the direction to 30 and the blur length to around 700. Then for the twirl, set the twirl angle and twirl radius to 60. Lastly, we're going to create another adjustment layer. Go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Noise, set the amount of noise to 10% and uncheck Use Color Noise. This part is optional, but it helps to blend everything together and add some additional motion to the composition. And just like that, we've made this beautiful moving gradient background in just a few steps. If you like the style of backgrounds in this video and you want a quick and easy way to add them to your projects with a click of a button, check out our Motion Graphics Professionals Pack. It includes a background category with over 100 unique backgrounds to enhance your projects and make them stand out. With our easy to use Atom X extension, all you have to do is find a graphic you like and hit apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can easily customize the composition with our simple to use control layers and edit the different elements to fit your needs. And just like that, you have a stunning custom composition to use in your projects. Check out the link in the description or visit sonduckfilm.com for more info. Here we have another similar gradient background and if you look at the shapes, you can see you're able to use a completely different combination of shapes and colors to create a completely unique background using the same techniques that we just used. Just change the shapes, colors, and mess around a bit with the settings on the effects and you'll have your own completely unique gradient background to use in your projects. For this next technique, we're going to use a handful of effects to change a solid layer into this trippy lava lamp style background. First, create a solid again by going to Layer, New, Solid. The color here doesn't matter, but I'll just set it to black. Now, with the solid highlighted, go to Effect, Stylize, CC Repetile, Effect, Generate, 4 Color Gradient, Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise, and Effect, Distort, Twirl. In the Effect Controls panel, go to Repetile, set the value for Expand Right to 2000, and the value for Left, Down, and Up all to 1000. For the four color gradient, I'm going to use a combination of dark yellow, orange, red, and green, but you can use any combination of colors that you'd like. For fractal noise, set the noise type to block, 
contrast to 200, brightness to negative 30, complexity to 1, and blending mode to overlay. Then open the transform tab on fractal noise, set the rotation to negative 35, uncheck uniform scaling, set the scale width to 1300, scale height to 600, and complexity to 1. Lastly, for twirls, set the angle to 230 and the twirl radius to 35. Now that we have all of our effects set up, we're going to start adding expressions to animate the layer. Go back to the 4 color gradient, hold down ALT and click the stopwatch next to point 1. In the expression controls panel that pops up, type in wiggle parentheses 0.5 comma 500. Then highlight point 1, press ctrl C to copy the expression, highlight the other points and press ctrl V to paste the expression into them. Next, go back to Fractal Noise and alt-click the stopwatch next to Evolution, then type in Time asterisk 150. Now press R to adjust the rotation, alt-click the stopwatch and type in Time asterisk 15. Lastly, we're going to add an adjustment layer and add noise to it just like we did in the last composition. And I made this cool lava lamp styled gradient background. For this final technique, we're going to use effects and expressions to turn a handful of square shape layers into this cool stacked gradient background. First, we're going to start by making our background layer, so go up to Layer, New, Solid, click OK, then with the solid highlighted, go to Effect, Generate, 4 color gradient, Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile, and Effect, Distort, Twirl. For the gradient, I'm going to use a combination of red, yellow, pink, and purple, but again, feel free to use whichever colors you like. For motion tile, set the output width and output height to 150 and enable mirror edges. Then for twirl, set the angle to 280, twirl radius to 50, then duplicate the twirl, set the angle to negative 250, and the twirl radius to 30. Next, we're going to add the wiggle expression to the four points on the four color gradient, just like we did in the last composition. Don't forget to copy the expression and just paste it onto the other points to save time. Now press R to adjust the rotation, alt click the stopwatch, then type in time asterisk 15. Lastly, press S to adjust the scale and increase the scale to 250 so that when the background rotates it still covers the entire screen. And now we have our background layer set up. Next, go up and select the rectangle tool, set the color to white, make sure nothing is highlighted, then hold shift and click and drag to create a small square. Hold down the control key and double click the pan behind tool to center the anchor point, then use the align tool to make sure it's in the dead center of the composition. With the square highlighted, go to effect, perspective, drop shadow, set the opacity to 100%, distance to zero, and softness to 200. Now, open up the shape layer, Go to Rectangle Path, increase the roundness to about 50, then press R to adjust the rotation, I'll click the stopwatch, and type in Time Asterisk 20. Once we have our shape layer set up, we're going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Move it underneath of the first layer and increase the scale until it's roughly double the size of the first. Repeat this process and adjust the scale of each layer until you have five squares that are stacked on top of each other and somewhat evenly spaced like this. Next, hold down the control key and highlight layers 1, 2, 4, and 5. Make sure you do not highlight layer 3 and then set their mode to multiply. Now highlight the background layer, copy the 4 color gradient effect, then paste it on the layer 3. This will make it so that there's a difference in color between the first few and the last few shape layers. Next, highlight shape layer 2, press R, Open the rotation expression, decrease the time expression by 2, and repeat this for the rest of the shape layers. The reason we're doing this is to offset the rotation of each layer so that it creates a spiraling effect. And one last time, we're going to add an adjustment layer and add the noise effect just to finish off this composition. Using all of these different techniques, you can create some amazing and unique gradient backgrounds to use for your projects in After Effects. You know what I loved in particular about this video is that you can take some random shapes and turn it into a beautiful background. Jordan just did a great job with this video and I hope you did enjoy it. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. And you can hit us up on our Instagram. We got tutorials on there as well. And always be creative.